welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about a handy and fun thing that you should definitely look into. And it's a Buddha board. Now it's not like Cheap Joe's hasn't had a Buddha board for a while, but now we have a new smaller, more compact, almost like a travel size Buddha board called an Enzo. It's like about 10 by 10, roughly about the size of like a CD or DVD case. It's really, really cool. And I've had one for a long time. And if you aren't familiar, a Buddha board has like a ground stone set in on to the case. And what you're doing is you're using that stone as um, for brush exercises. Now, the stone is sort of delicate in that you can't use your fingers on it a lot because the oil from your hands will cause it to become less absorbent. You can't let it get scratched or it'll, it'll mess it up. But a Buddha board is really, really fun. It's a great way to do like practice your brushwork. It's a good little thing to doodle on. And all you need is a brush and some water. And the cool thing about the Enzo is that it's got this cute little case and stuff like this. You open it up and it becomes its own little tripod like easel. You have a brush inside and wet it with just clean water, no paint at all fold it back and it becomes like its own little easel. And basically the great part about an Enzo board is that once we paint on this, which is some clear water, as you can see, it starts to evaporate um, and then it's clean and ready to go and ready for you to play with again. So it's kind of endless and you don't have to recharge it or anything. So if you haven't thought about looking into a Buddha board, you should definitely try because they're so cool and so fun. So look into a Buddha board, enjoy. Yeah.